Hello everyone, Satorn here with another Vicky Quickie, this time on the education systems and which ones you should be shooting for. Let's get into it. The first system is no system at all, is no schools. Depending on your interest groups, it may be hard to get out of this, but uh, you do want to as soon as possible because what it does is it impacts your literacy rate for your nation and your literacy rate impacts your technology. So here you can see your weekly innovations. Uh, our max is 131.98. You get 50 base value, but then we're getting another plus 81 from literacy. So you want this as high as possible, and you do kind of want this maxed out because what it does is when you do choose a tech and uh, it's directed towards this, then all that uh, innovation goes towards it. If you don't and you go over your max, then the rest goes to your technology spread, which is okay as well but it's kind of kind of you can't really direct it right so uh definitely the first thing you want to do is for sure uh get out of no schools as soon as you can the first real system is religious schools and it's actually quite good you get a plus 10 percent flat education access which isn't bad you also get a plus 20 percent conversion which again is also this is very good um so if people are being discriminated due to their religion uh, they have the chance to actually convert to an accepted religion so this is really really uh, good. So I would say if you could deal with the political strength of the devout or your religious uh, interest groups, I think this is definitely a good uh, first uh, system to go for. And it's you know not that bad uh, as far as bureaucracy goes. You start your own education institution and you'll be first level. And honestly, uh, I was at first level through a majority of my game and I ended up with 50% literacy rate. The next one is public schools. If you're worried about your interest groups getting too strong and you're putting a lot, maybe you're at institution level five and that's giving them a, you know, a huge amount of political strength. Uh, switching over to public schools isn't bad. Again, you get the same amount of education access and the assimilation here though is pretty much worthless. Uh, the reason why is pretty much the culture can only be assimilated if they're already accepted. So it's uh, to me, again, assimilation needs to be reworked in the game. So public schools themselves is good if you're really worried about the interest group for religious schools. The last system is private schools and it's pretty good as long as your population is definitely wealthy. Uh, the more wealthy they are, the higher their standard of living, the better this gets. And the more levels you put in, the better it gets as well. So here you can see is a 0.5% for your first level and as it goes up, it increases by another 0.5% uh, as well as your intelligence, your political strength power, which is which is good. Both of these are very good. Uh, but the problem is, like I said, your population, your wealth has to be pretty high. Uh, so right now, so middling, right, where a majority of my population is at 16 standard of living. Um, so what that means is right now, if we did at level one, we'd only be getting what, roughly 8% access. So uh, level one for uh, public schools would be better. But now at level two it would be 1%, be at 16%. And the same thing for public schools to so see public schools still are going to be better or even religious schools better than, than wealth based. Now, if you're a lot higher, let's say majority of your population is now prosperous and is at 25. Now that's 25% uh, at level two, which is better, right, than public or uh, religious. So again, you have to have a majority of your population wealthy or a higher standard of living to really make it pay off. But if you do, it's super strong. Let me know in the comments below which education system you usually end up with. Hit that like, subscribe, notification button. They're free. And as always, for the swarm.